Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your entrepreneurship tutor, Professor Henry Buisa of the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology in Kenya, telling you an email entrepreneurship story. There was in Kenya in the 1980s a form for failure who, realizing that his dream to become a neurosurgeon had been dashed, embarked on job searching. One day, he left his pre urban village in response to an interview call at the CBD, Central Business District of the town, to be a sweeper in a hotel to earn 2,500 Kenyan shillings per month. And indeed, he passed the interview. He was then asked to leave his email address through which he would be con contacted for reporting. The boy said he did not have an email and that cost him his job as he was told that in that prestigious hotel the main communication channel with workers and indeed the outside world was the email. Hence, no email, no job and was dropped. The boy left for home dejected. He had only 50 Kenyan shillings in his pocket to pay for transport back home, but he decided to walk the 10 kilometers to home just to use the money to buy something to supplement that, is me, that day's meal at home. On the way home, he noticed a pre urban farmer selling his green cups of maize at 5 shillings each. He decided to, pay, to buy 10 cups of the green maize for home. But at the corner kiosk next to his home, a woman who sells roasted maize offered to buy the boy's 10 green maize at 10 shillings each for her business. The boy could not turn the temptation of a 100% return on investment within a span of a few minutes. He sold the maize and doubled his riches. Apparently, the woman buys her stock from hawkers who battle the green maize. The next day, he discovered that the woman who bought his maize buys them at 10 shillings and sells the roasted ones at 20 shillings, making a gross profit of 10 shillings per maize. He also discovered that the components for roasting maize, the gear for roasting maize, were all waste material from the town's dump site. And that the heat for roasting the maize was from briquettes made from waste char dust collected from charcoal selling sites in town, collected for free. The boy decided to abandon job seeking and start self-employment that is maize roasting. Now, with the 100 shillings he had saved from selling the 10 cups that he had sold the woman maize roaster, he walked to where he bought his at 5 shillings a cup and bought 20 of them, 20 cups. He roasted the 20 cups and sold all of them in a few afternoon hours. 20 shillings each to make 400 or a gross profit of 300. Now, compare this with the woman, who, the woman competitor who waits to buy her stock at 10 bob to make 200 shillings from her own 20 cups. Now, by the end of the first month in business, the boy was selling 100 cups by half day which translates to 3,000 cups or 45,000 Kenya shillings per month. In the third year of his maize selling business, the boy joined a circle, contributing 5,000 Kenya shillings per month. By the fifth year in business, or two years in the circle, he had contributed 120,000 with which he got a circle loan 
of half a million with which he deposited at a vehicle company and was given a minibus which paid itself in nine months. Of course, he did not abandon the maize roasting business. And indeed, noticing that he had a lot of husks and cops from his maize roasting business, he bought a milk goat to feed it with the west. By the second year running his first minibus, he added two more and opened a garage to maintain and repair his and others' vehicles. He employed a mechanic graduate to run the garage. Three years after opening his garage, he approached his vehicle insurance company and successfully requested to be listed as an official garage for the insurance company. As he was filling the contract, he skipped the space for email, but he was reminded to fill it. But again, he said he had no email to which he was told the company, company's main mode of communication was email. Hence, he could not get the contract. Well, he told the manager, if I had an email 10 years ago, I will today be a sweeper at a hotel. Wow. There are many entrepreneurship lessons to learn here. Here are 10 of them. Number one, every cloud has a silver lining. Yes, his rejection as a sweeper was dejectful, but had hidden better things that silver lining. Number two, capital is not the biggest roadblock to business. You know, indeed to business startup and to success. Yes, here is a story of someone who started with 10, 5, 50 shillings, but putting it in the right business at the right time. Number three, Patience is a key characteristic of entrepreneurs. Yes, he is a boy who persistently pursued roasting maize. 4. Financial discipline pays. Yes, the boy denied himself luxury to save 5,000 per month. 5. Value addition pays. Yes. Rather than sell the raw maize, this boy started roasting, adding value. Number six, diversification pays. Yes, this boy diversified from maize roasting to transport, to god keeping, and to garage. And successful so. Number seven, business opportunities could be hidden right at your doorsteps. Yes, this boy discovered the roasting business right at the corner of his village. Number eight, you do not necessarily need to have a degree to run a business. Yes, he was a dropout, but he employed a college graduate in his garage. Number nine, entrepreneurship is about doing things differently from others. Yes, when he started his roasting maze, he outdid competition by sourcing differently. And finally, entrepreneurs can be made, but they are also born. This story is about a born entrepreneur. I hope these lessons teach us something in entrepreneurship. Thank you.